All right, nerds, let's review our lab from yesterday. So this is the Paperclip Isotope Labarium. All right, so I'm using a different set of numbers, okay? So up here we have 12 paper clips, 15, seven, and they have a mass of 4.00, I'm sorry, 4.46, 15, 14.607, and 2.86. All right, so our first one on here, we're dividing our mass by our number of paper clips. So on here I get 0 0.371666, rounded two places past your decimal spot. So the doubt. So the one tells us to stay a seven. Okay. Down here we're doing our percentage of paper clips. So we have 12 divided by our total, which is 34. Times that by 100, and we get 35.2941. Okay, now you're still using your numbers, so don't copy mine over. <clears throat> and then down here, we have our percent abundance. If you write this as a decimal, 35% written as a decimal, we move it over two places, one, two, would be 0 0.35, okay? So now really what I wanna go over is our average atomic mass, okay? So for our average atomic mass, Okay, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a mass of your first isotope, and that's right here, our highlighted numbers. So our average mass of our first one is 0 0.37, and your number should be pretty close to that. Our second one is 0 0.97, and our last one is 0 0.41. Okay, so we're gonna take 0 0.37, and we're gonna multiply it by our percentage. Percentage has to be as a decimal, 0 0.35. Add that, 0 0.97 times our next percentage, which comes out to about 44%, or 0 0.44. At least that's my numbers. Make sure you're using your numbers. And then we'll add our third one, 0 0.41 times, last one comes out to about 20.6%, so that'll be 0 0.21. So 20.6 will round up to 21%. All right, and we can plug this all in at once due to order of operations. So 0 0.37 times 0 0.35 plus 0 0.97 times 0 0.44 plus 0 0.41 times 0 0.21. And answer is 0 0.6424. We're gonna round that to two decimal places. So 0 0.642 tells us to stay the same. 0 0.64. Okay, now if we take a look back at our 0 0.37, 0 0.97, and 0 0.41, all of those, those are our three isotopes, and this falls in the middle there, so this makes sense. <clears throat> Why this is a weighted average, this is one of your questions on the back. If we take these three numbers and add them up and divide by three, we're not gonna get exactly 0 0.64. So we take 0 0.37 plus 0 0.97 plus 0 0.41. If we divide that by three, we get 0 0.58. We don't get 0 0.64. The reason this number is higher is because for our second one, this here, we have a larger percentage. There's more of our large paper clips. So this is weighted higher. While these other ones, in fact, this one has the least amount. So isotope number three is weighted the least. Okay, That should help you guys out for question 18. Okay, so what is a weighted average? It gives a higher weight to whichever one you have more of. That's what we're talking about there. Okay, let's do number 20. So we have sulfur 32, sulfur 33, sulfur 34, and sulfur 36. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did on the end. So we have a weight or mass of 32. We're gonna times that by our percentage. 
Um, I can't times it by 95. That's written as a percent. I need to change it back into a decimal. So I need to move my decimal over one, two spots. 0 0.95. I'm going to add my next one. My next weight is a mass of 33. I'm going to times that. Same thing, this is 0.76%. This is less than 1%. There's hardly any of sulfur 33. Most of them are sulfur 32. I need to take my decimal, move it over one, two places. So I end up having 0 0.0076. I'm then going to add sulfur 34. I'm going to times that by 3.22%. Move over decimal one, two spots, 0.0322. Last one, I'm going to add on to that, sulfur 36 times 0 0.89, 0 0.0089, one, two. All right, plug all that into your calculator, and then you'll get your average atomic mass. We should know that our answer should be somewhere between 32 and 36, okay? Based on the fact that 95% of our isotope is 32, it should be closer towards this end, okay? Once you get your answer, round it to two decimal places and place it here. Make sure you have 17, 18, and 19 done in full sentences. 18, if you don't have enough room, write a little bit more down here. You, you only have one line here, that might not be enough room. As soon as you're done, go ahead and turn in your lab.